A fast-growing company called Precision Therapeutics is making medicine more personal by pioneering new ways to target cancer treatment to individual patients. And it's happening right here in our region, the latest example of our region's growing strengths in healthcare and life sciences. Sean McDonald is president and CEO of Precision Therapeutics, and welcome. Good to see you again. Thanks for having me. You've been here off and on over 20 years, I think, <laughs> with one venture or another. It's been a while uh, since we talked about Precision Therapeutics. Good to see you again, though. Well, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Yeah, for folks who don't know the company, what exactly is it that Precision Therapeutics does? Well, Precision works in the area of personalization of cancer therapy, and right now, in a lot of types of cancer, there's multiple accepted therapies for a particular indication, and yet there's really often no means to determine which therapy will be most effective for a particular patient. What we do is we look at the unique characteristics of that patient's tumor and the genetic makeup of that per person's cancer in order to determine what will be the most effective treatment for that patient. So you can kind of do that in the lab before the doctors start putting that chemotherapy or whatever into the patient. That's exactly right. Right now it's often a trial and error process in many types of cancer where, where treatments are tried and if they're not effective they move on to another treatment. And what we believe is that by looking at the tumor um, that's just removed from the patient who's often newly diagnosed with cancer or has had a recurrence of the cancer, we're able to look at the tumor characteristics and thereby, thereby determine what's the most effective treatment of all of the available accepted treatments that the physician is considering. So you've been, the company's been around for around 15 years or so. You've been with them for, for eight or nine. I mean, right. You've got you've products on the market, real revenue coming in. So what, what's available right now in terms of... Well, revenue? right now we have a test that um, we receive a biopsy and we've received tests ordered from all 50 states at this point and actually uh, Europe and we're expanding into Europe and Asia right now early early moves into those markets but we receive uh, biopsies sent to us from all over the country and along with that a uh, list of the uh, drugs that the physicians considering treating that particular patient with and we report back the results based on that particular patient's tumor characteristic what therapies are likely to be most effective. Now you've been at it for a while now, given the, the, how long the company's been around. Is there, the, does, it, does it work? Does it make a difference for the patients? Uh, w uh, clinical data is very good and we also have, uh, we've shown uh, when uh, in gynecological cancers, when treating with uh, the test results that we provide, we can prolong survival over two times and we also prolong the time with which someone will recur with the disease three times. So very significant results. Progress in cancer is incremental. We've got some very exciting clinical developments going on in the field of genetics where we expect to be able to move into lung cancer and breast cancer uh, as well and those are two much larger areas with much more compelling clinical needs wow. than the ones we're in right now. So the, yeah, the potential for this kind of treatment, this kind of technology, and this kind of company is, is big. We think that with the right kind of clinical work and with the right kind of technology applied to this problem, we have the opportunity to change how cancer is treated in a lot of segments. And that's obviously a very significant problem. And with it, uh, very significant opportunity to the group that solves that problem. How many people do you have working for you now? For, for uh, Precision? 270 people. We added about 60 people uh, last in the last year. All but about 50 to 60 of those people are located in the Pittsburgh area, primarily on the south side. But we're also opening a, another facility in Lawrenceville right now. Still adding people. Yes, we're still adding people. This year, we won't add as many people, although we'll have very significant growth. We're sort of, we um, laid in an infrastructure to grow into this year. But over time, you know, I can, this company will have very significant uh, representation in Pittsburgh. Important among that is we have both entry-level jobs in the technician area all the way up to physicians, PhDs, and we've recruited, you know, PhDs from all over the countries to come in and work with us either on the biology 
science side or, or on the statistics math side, of which the, which is a huge component of this company. Wow, right? that's fascinating, the st statistical part. Uh, only about 30 seconds left, but I wonder, Pittsburgh, the right place to be doing this kind of a, of a venture? Well, I've uh, obviously built a successful company here previously, and I've always thought that Pittsburgh had tremendous intellectual assets available to it. It has one of the best medical centers and cancer centers in the country, and obviously the technical capability, if you think of both Pitt and CMU, is really world class. If you have the ability to pull these threads together into a, a good company, I think you can be very effective here. And we've gotten capital coming in really from all over the country where $35 million was invested last year out of Boston. That's really, it's not just my view, obviously, people vote with their checkbook at some level. Well, it is so exciting. That. Company called Precision Therapeutics. Sean McDonald, thanks for the update. Thanks for having me. And next up, rallying air travelers around our region's gateway to Europe. Stay with us.